take photographs later. Later. Okay. The position and the video, are you okay? Yes, because we're taking her away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ma, we are ready for okay, yeah. Well, uh, I think I'm, 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 you'll understand that I'm lost for words. Yes. <laughs> Normally, I talk a lot. But I want to tell you that I'm particularly touched. Uh, by this particular decision to put me among those you honoring for your 10th anniversary. I think that's very significant and I count myself lucky that you've included me. So thank you, thank you so much to my boss, President Kufo, who is the lifetime patron and uh, to the Board of Trustees, and to everybody who has really been part of the decision to put me among this group. I have seen those you have made awards to in the past, always thematic, but uh, I will say those who have come up for recognition by yourselves, according to the list I see, very impressive. So to be counted among this number, I, I'm, I'm just grateful to, to you. Yes, I have been a public servant all my life. I joined the Ghana Civil Service in 1962 mm -hmm. at the Office of the Planning Commission. So I was part of the team with Mr. J.H. Mensah, who wrote uh, the seven-year development plan. Okay. I say this uh, to let you know how old I am. <laughs> like we say, I'm aging myself. <laughs> but before that, uh, then I became the uh, chief uh, director in the Ministry of Finance and Planning. In the home service, the first woman. So that was the first as well. Before I joined the United Nations, as the first... Uh, woman to become oh. resident, the first African woman to become resident coordinator of the UN system. Okay. So I sort of opened the door for all the ladies you have yeah. around yes. now. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, after I worked in several countries, uh, and then I ended up uh, in Geneva, and uh, with the rank of under secretary general of the United Nations. Okay. You know, again, the first African woman to have got to that. <laughs> so there's been a lot of firsts, yes. but uh, it's not been easy. Uh, public service is not necessarily a very easy path, mm -hmm. especially if you want to make an impact, mm -hmm. and uh, impact which will result in the good mm -hmm. nationally. I have focused, I'm a development uh, practitioner, so looking at issues of quality of life of our people, I've worked very, very hard. I continue to work, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, when you look at the track, we appear to be on the right track, so yes, very much that is good has happened in this uh, country. Mm -hmm. On top of it, though, I have worked, uh, as you mentioned yourself, globally. Um, very difficult. But uh, helping humanity is an even bigger mission mm -hmm. than at the country level. Mm -hmm. uh, we took a lot of risks, but we gave of our best. And I, I think I have been lucky to be selected by God for all these opportunities. I've focused a lot on Africa. I'm on, I'm on the panel of the wise of the African Union, mm. among other things. But uh, <laughs> to be recognized like this then is very heartwarming for me. What I'm saying is it's all been worth it. 
when I talked to President Kufo, he said, yes, but uh, your country honored you. You got the order of the star of Ghana. What else do you want us to do? <laughs> yes, I <laughs> recognize that. Uh, it was not for honest I did uh, this, but uh, finally it's a work of God. And mm. I, I think uh, if we have been selected and given the opportunity to work, to be able to make a difference in the destiny of mankind, we should count ourselves very lucky. And uh, to have recognition for yourselves, of course, is, uh, I would say, a big icing on the cake. And I, I want to thank you so much okay. um, to the painters. Mm -hmm. I am very surprised uh, what? what you managed to pull out. Mm -hmm. You've captured me as a young lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's yes. what in I a like. Strength, in a strength of hair. Yes. Fascinating. That's, that's what <laughs> I, 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 see. I have And this is using pencil. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. You know, I also have a, a grandson who is an artist. Oh, nice. And uh, he just came back uh, from the United States after graduation from Loyola University in Chicago. Nice. And he, seeing you now gives me hope that he selected a, a, a good uh, career path when he said that. Uh, but uh, I want to commend you. Uh, and I want to commend very much the focus of this particular group. That you are bringing in the youth, uh, giving them hope. Mm. Because the future of Ghana belongs to them. Yes. And uh, we worry a lot within the context of Africa about the intergenerational issues. Yes. We people don't necessarily think about. But uh, we have to find a, a conduit for making the young people know that we value them mm -hmm. and that we want them to be partners with ourselves. Yes. And uh, that coming to work with us, we will be good mentors mm -hmm. and we will make sure that they also will have a, a very, very good life. So for the youth, I have to say thank you. Mm. You are on the right track. And then you are basically doing philanthropic work. Uh, the way the world is these days, people go after money. But you go after the good of man. Yes. And uh, I, I, I just have to congratulate you and to wish the, you luck for the future. If there's anything we can do, we stand by. Because I think your course is great. Thank you. Yeah. So, with these few words, I, I just want to say a very big thank you uh, for this award. Mm. I will value it. I'm going to add it to the string of awards I've received <laughs> nationally and internationally, including the Goosey Peace Prize, which is the Asian equivalent of the Nobel Prize. Yeah, okay. So. But this is very special. It's coming from my own people. So. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for coming and God bless. Yes. Yeah. Well.